Hi, everyone. You're listening to Jazz FM. Host your own show. I'm your host Angela. I'm co-host Fang. And together we are Radio Fangela. What you're listening must be a familiar tune for you. It's Glenn Miller's "In the Mood." When it was topping the chart in America in the 1940s, it was also a standard hit in Shanghai on the other side of the world in China. The version you are hearing right now is played by a regrouped band of old jazz musicians from that era in China. And today we are presenting a special show about the good old days of Chinese jazz, back in 1940s in Shanghai. And Feng, I know you've done special research about this collection, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is、uh, an album recorded in the 1990s of remakes of the、uh, the most popular songs in the 1940s China. But what's special is that they are performed by the original jazz musicians from that time. So the recording was done in the 90s, and they were the musicians back in 1940s. How old are they now? Well, for example, the bassist,、uh, transcriber, and conductor, Mr. Zheng Deren, he was born in 1923, and he was a founding member of the first all Chinese jazz band, the Jimmy King Jazz Band. And when Jimmy King was found in 1947, Mr. Zheng was actually the youngest among the original 16 players. And today, Mr. Zheng is already in his 90s. When he was re-recording these songs, he was the oldest of the regrouped band. <laughs> Thank、you 
So that was Shangri-La, composed by Li Jingguang, who is a very famous pop music composer in 1940s in China. Fan, we actually talk about Jimmy King as China's first all Chinese jazz band, and obviously jazz was very popular in 1940s in China. Could you tell us more about the musicians? Uh, yes, uh, Jimmy King. Actually, his Chinese name is uh, Jin Huai Zhu, and uh, uh, before him, jazz was mostly performed in China by foreign musicians, mostly Jewish bands, White Russian bands, or Filipino bands. And Jimmy King himself was playing in a Filipino band in his early career, and uh, many of the foreign musicians uh, at the time were Jews fleeing Nazi persecution in Europe and taking exile in Shanghai. But after World War II and with the outbreak of civil war in China, most Shanghai Jews and other foreign musicians left, and that was the time when uh, Jimmy King formed the All, Chi All Chinese Jazz Band, and that was in 1947. Wow, well, that was in 1947. And uh, from the research that you did, I know that Jimmy King he was actually a very talented musician, and and there seems to be a story with a nightclub called Paramount in Shanghai. Yeah, that's right. Jimmy King and his band、uh, was really successful, and one thing that they were very good at was to transcribe popular movie songs into instrumentals and make them into dance club hits. They could do this really, really quickly. So once a new movie came out,、mm -hmm. they could turn its theme songs into instrumental hits literally overnight. And another thing that puts Jimmy King in a category all of his own is that Jimmy. Could read music, and、uh, instead of relying only on memory, like many other bands did. So since the start of his band, he ordered the latest sheet music directly from the U.S. And in the several years that they were resident at the Paramount nightclub, they accumulated over a thousand different pieces, and that's why Jimmy King Jazz Band was so successful. <laughs>
That was Shanghai at night. In Chinese, it's Ye Shanghai. This is one of the most popular songs in the 1940s, composed by another famous pop music composer at the time. His name is Chen Gexin. Earlier, we talked about the Paramount nightclub. It is unrelated to Paramount Pictures. It is actually a place that is most famous among older generation Chinese, just like the song "Shanghai at Night." The Paramount Bai Le Men in Chinese was literally a synonym of vintage Shanghai. It was originally built in 1933 and operated until 1949, when communist revolution took over. Later, in 1956, it was converted into a red capital cinema, showing propaganda films. During its heyday, the Paramount could host over a thousand people dancing at the same time. Just picture that: a thousand people dancing on the floor, enjoying jazz music band in China in Shanghai. Indeed, and that's where China's own jazz music thrived. However, after 1949, jazz was seen as Corrupt and decadent, and jazz musicians were sort of absorbed into classical orchestras. For example, Mr. Zheng Deren himself worked as a double bassist in the Shanghai Symphony for decades until he retired. So, what happened to the Paramount、uh, nightclub now? And I have the latest information. It says that in April this year. A it was actually went under a four years restoration project by Taiwanese investors. They spent three million dollars to refurbish the rundown venue and reopen it as a ballroom. Today it is reopened as Paramount 1933 in Shanghai again. Now, even though this golden age of jazz was short lived in China, it did leave incredible legacy in the history of pop culture. And、some of the songs are still deeply loved and re-recorded by later generations. A typical example is this one.
wow, I just enjoyed this rumba rhythm. And if you're listening now, this is Evening Primrose. In Chinese name, it's Ye Lai Xiang. This is actually my mom's favorite when I was growing up. And listening to this instrumental version, it just brings back so much memory while growing up. What a classic. Another very prolific composer of the same time was uh, Mr. Chen Gexin and uh, the composer of Shanghai at Night that we just heard at the beginning. So here's another famous song of his.
That was Rose, Rose. I love you. I can even like hum and sing this tune. And it was actually composed by a Chinese composer in 1940s, right, Fang? Yeah, that's correct. And if you think that tune sounds familiar to you, you are correct. In 1951, American singer Frankie Lame recorded an English version of that song and hit the top three of the Billboard charts. And it is said the English version got so famous, and many people in China even mistook the tune as an American song. And before we did this research, I've always thought "Rose, Rose, I Love You" in the English version was the original, and the Chinese version version was actually the remade. I didn't know that the Chinese version exists in the first place. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? And、uh, here is the American singer Frankie Lame himself. <laughs> I love you with an aching heart. What is your future now? We have to part. Standing on the jetty as the steamer moves away. Flower of Malaya, I cannot stay. Make way, oh make way for my eastern rose. Men crowd in dozens everywhere she goes. In her rickshaw on the street or in a cabaret, please make way for Rose. You can hear them say, "All my life I shall remember Oriental music and you in my arms, perfume flowers in your tresses, lotus scented breezes and swaying palms." Rose, rose, I love you with your almond eyes, fragrant and slender, deep tropical skies. I must cross the seas again and never see you more. Way back to my home on a distant shore. All my life I shall remember. I leave you. My ship is in the bay. Kiss me farewell. Now there's nothing to say. East is east and west is west. Our worlds are far apart. I must leave you now, but I leave my heart. Rose, rose, I love you with an aching heart. What is your future now? We have to part. Standing on the jetty as the steamer moves away, flower of Malaya, I cannot stay. I cannot stay. That is the only song that hit the American Billboard chart by a Chinese composer. Rose, Rose, I love you. Song by Frankie Lame. Thank you for listening to our special show about the golden age of Chinese jazz. I'm Angela, and I'm Fang, and this is Radio Fangela on Jazz FM ninety one point one. Stay tuned.